gonna start working from the bottom of this figure. So I'm gonna start with circle. From this point to this point, the diameter is 50. So type C for circle command. Click anywhere on the screen. Type D for diameter option and enter 50. And extrude this one. And the extrusion height is 30 from this point to this point. So extrude command inside the modeling panel. Click the circle, enter, move your cursor upward, and enter 50. Not 50, 30 rather. Just going to change this to x-ray. Draw another circle. Type C for circle command. Look at center. Type D for diameter option and enter 80. Which is from this point to this point. But before we proceed, go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on. Polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, 3D object snap, and dynamic UCS. Now I'm going to extrude this circle from this point to the very top is 75, which is also from here up to here. So extrude command. Bring your cursor upward for 75 units. Now I'm going to draw a square, which is this one here, and attach it to the very top here. And the dimension for that is 40 by 40, shown here. So select um, rectangle command from the draw panel and enter 40, then comma, then 40 again. Move this one. Right click, select move, and uh, you can just track, see that green dash line, and from the midpoint there. Now you're holding the center of the object, and attach it to the center, or on top of that cylinder. Bring this drawing to top view, because I'm going to slice from this side here downward and the distance from this point up to this point is 50 which is this one here so I'm gonna draw another rectangle A rectangle it won't matter like up to here or here as long as it passes over this um, quadrant and this area here and extrude this one downward because this is the cut this is what we cut here from here to here extrude downward for 50 I'm just gonna check it looks okay so top view I'm gonna mirror this object so type MI for mirror command and uh, locate center, click and uh, just make sure your point of mirror line is straight and select no. Now select subtract command, click the object you want to keep, right click and select these two objects. Now I'm going to draw this arc, so I'm going to bring this drawing to front view, maybe change this to 2D wireframe, and the distance from here, from the midpoint down here is this one, which is 12, so I'm going to draw a guide, so line. 
from midpoint downward and interval. Move to your right, so the distance from or the diameter for this arc is 50. So to your right, enter 25. I'm just going to copy this one. In point to in point. Enter. On downward from this point to this point is 48. So line in point downward, enter 48. And to your left, under 50, then click that uh, end point. Now join the segment, so type J for join command. Click this line, this line that line and this line now this is one object I'm gonna bring this to front view and draw a circle so inside the draw panel click this drop down arrow and select the circle with tangent 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 option and click the side here you can see the tangent uh, icon select this side and select that side type tr for trim command enter and select this as boundary right click and remove this one remove this one enter right click to repeat trim command and use this one as boundary right click remove this one remove that delete this one now join the segments by typing J for join command. Now this is one object. I'm going to change this to conceptual. I'm going to extrude or maybe x-ray. Select that and extrude this one all the way. And then move this one. So we can cut this portion also, move that would be enough So subtract command, select the object you want to keep, right click and select subtract, select the object you want to keep, right click and select the object you want to subtract. Now the next thing to do is chop this side here. But since we don't know the angle, but the distance from the very top, the distance from, okay, linear, from this point up to that point is 35. In point to this in point is 35. And then, so I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to just bring this to front view. Line as my guide. I change this to 2D wireframe. I'm going to draw a line as a guide from quadrant downward for 35 units. And then click this midpoint here and then click that in point. Now I've created a rectangle. So join the segments because I'm going to extrude this one. And then extrude it up to that point. Move this one, just move it straight because I'm going to cut that and bring this to top view, mirror that object from quadrant or from the center, just move your cursor upward as long as it's straight, click, select no. Now I'm going to subtract. 
select the object you want to keep right click and select this two there you go now I'm gonna create a counter bore from this face here so type C for circle command look at center type D for diameter option and enter 30 another circle look at center type D for diameter option and enter this one here is 35 so circle type D for diameter option and enter 35 I'm gonna extrude this circle Better change this to the wireframe or maybe X-ray. All right, extrude this one. Up to this point, subtract, click the objects you wanna keep, right click and select this uh, cylinder. And then I'm gonna use press pull command for this portion here and the height for that is 12 so go to home click press pull command hover over this portion here once it turns blue left click let go of your finger, bring your cursor upward, and enter 12 for the height. I'm going to show you with concept 12. So this is what happened. We created a counter bore hole. Now the next thing to do is create counter sink from here. So I'm going to start with circle from center. Type D for the emitter option and enter 12, which is this one here from here to here. Maybe change this to wireframe. Create another circle from center. Type D for the emitter option. And the diameter for that wait is from this point to this point is 8 so C for circle look at center type D for diameter option and enter 8 and the distance from here to here is 2 so I'm gonna move this one downward click anywhere as your base point and enter 2 Now go to home and select, click this drop down arrow inside the modeling panel and select loft. Select that circle and this one and enter twice. Now this is one object to create that counter sink. I'm just going to change this to conceptual or maybe x-ray is better. You subtract command from the ribbon, select the object you want to keep. Right click and select this object here to subtract. There. I'm going to poke a hole through down here. I'm just going to use press pull command. Hover over that uh, area here. And once it turns blue, left click, let go of the finger, pull it downward, left click again. Let me see here. I think we are done. All right. So I'm going to change this to realistic. I'm just going to move this object. Delete that. I'm going to apply go to home or solid. Select uh, fillet edge inside the solid editing panel. 
go down to the command prompt, click radius and enter 0 0.25. I'm just gonna and select chain as an option. All right. Click this one. Enter twice. Right click to repeat fillet edge. Enter twice. Fillet edge again. Right click. Select uh, chain option. Maybe this one here. I'm just going to apply materials, so type materials. I'm going to select reflective beige. So click this arrow, bring it up here, and just drag that and apply it here. Go to visualize. I'm just going to adjust the exposure, maybe brighter. Just going to copy this one and just want to show you how it looks inside. Copy. I'm just going to slice this. Go to solid. Slice. I'm going to slice it from here. Click and click this one here. Select this side. So above it, above that uh, cutting edge. There you go. So this is how I think we're done. Thanks for watching. And please uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell icon to be notified. And see you again.